Well, this got us thinking, where is the biggest seagull infestation in the land? Well, it's got the word sea in it, so would it be somewhere by the sea, Miley? Well, no, it's not. Our bird man, David Lindo, had to journey inland to a town that's since been covered in foul water. He got covered in something almost as unpleasant. If I was going to ask you where the seagull capital of the UK is, you'd probably turn around and say Skegness, South Ends, maybe even Blackpool. Well, you'd be totally wrong. It's not even a coastal resort. It's right here in Gloucester. There's an estimated 20,000 seagulls living in and around Gloucester. And for the people who live here, they are a real menace. Dirty, noisy, and often aggressive, they've slowly colonized large parts of the city. One of their favorite hangouts for food is the city's landfill site. It's one of the biggest in the UK, and maybe why Gloucester has so many gulls. Every morning, thousands gather for a feeding frenzy, then head back into town to annoy the residents. They're noisy, they're disruptive. I can't stand them. Mm, love them by the sea, hate them in the sea. Oh, don't go there in the seagulls. You hate Why, them? Yeah. Why do you hate them? Because my car is covered in seagull poo all the time. Can you see that? And that was one hit, yeah? Yeah, I watched it. I, I just cleaned the car. So your car washing in... bills are quite high? Yeah. Across the country, various tactics have been used to try and control urban seagulls, ranging from poisoning to using birds of prey to hunt them, and to find out how Gloucester is handling the problem, I've had to head up to the gulls' domain, on top of a city centre roof. In Alfred Hitchcock's famous movie, the birds attack humans for no apparent reason. But here in Gloucester, the gulls have very good reasons for some pretty aggressive behaviour. <laughs> Merrick Brentnell from Gloucester Gull Action Group has been taking and destroying their eggs and swapping them with dummy ones. Uh, we've got a clutch of two there. That, those were put in there probably about a month ago and hopefully they'll sit on, on the eggs. I mean, last year in trials they sat on the eggs until August. And when they're really? sitting, they're actually quite quiet. They're not, they're not a problem to anybody. There's quite a, an aggressive one over in the corner. On the whole, the tactic is working well. But while we were filming, Merrick spotted the last thing he wanted to see. Right, OK, now what's happened here, they've actually chucked out the, uh, the dummy eggs and they've relayed. That's so that, that, that's, that's a, a chicken, problem. Yeah. yeah, so you've got a chicken, you've got two eggs. So yeah, that's really annoying because obviously... So what do you do in this instance? Just leave it. But not everyone sees the gulls as the enemy. Peter Rock, the UK's only urban gull expert, is monitoring the gulls. For him, the key to managing them is understanding their behaviour. Well, we're going to have to get used to the idea that, that we're going to be living alongside girls, but we need, that's the attack call, by the way, but direct hit. <laughs> and do, do you know why they got you? Why? Because I'm wearing this coat and they think I've already been done. <laughs> well, it's a new design anyway. <laughs> in theory, the gulls shouldn't be such a problem in the winter as they go on their annual migration. Unfortunately, Peter has made a rather worrying discovery. 36% of adults have decided that going to Spain and Portugal, eating sardines, and then spending the rest of the day on the beach in the sunshine loafing about is just not a very interesting thing to do anymore. Which is so sad for people of Gloucester. Well, they come back here and they spend their time on the rooftops. They've got the best nest sites, and if they all start doing that, we're going to have gulls in town for 12 months of the year instead of just five. So it looks like our urban gulls are going to be as much part of city life as pigeons. And you know what? We're just going to have to learn to get along.